Okay, now another um, uh, issue I say with Tucker for often time, it's a lot of issues that borders on regulation. And of course, you know, strictly speaking, there are areas where tackle for funds cannot be invested and all of that. So what what is the London market doing in that direction? On regulation? Yes. Um, well, part of the government interaction is to work with the regulator itself. They need to understand the Takafel model. Uh, I think they would probably say at the moment that's that's they need to do a bit more work there. Uh, we don't have specific Takafel companies as such, it's more like a division of a conventional company, they're not bespoke to, to Carful. Yeah. So um, the, the, gov the, gov the regulators need to understand how to regulate that business as well. How easy do you think that that's all? Well it shouldn't be too difficult, I mean uh, the, the people trading it understand it, there's no reason why the regulator won't understand it as well. Uh, our regulators arguably one of the best in the world in terms of understanding the industry and being proactive in its thinking and working with the industry itself. It's certainly been uh, quite, um, quite optimistic, quite constructive in the way it's working with the industry on Brexit, for example. It recognises the need to retain the London market ecosystem as much as we can, so it's been quite flexible on branch licensing under a Brexit um, world. So I, I have confidence that the regulator will understand and work with the industry on this. I also think the government itself through our Treasury will be driving this, though they want to see more, uh, they want to see the Islamic financial sector grow in many ways, not just banking. Okay. And your thoughts on to what extent can the insurance industry, be it careful or conventional insurance, embrace technology to run your business? They, it's already happening, yeah, the London, another part of London is very much the fintech, instech hub for, for Europe, if not further afield. We have literally hundreds of technology companies devising solutions that can assist the financial services industry. Some of these receive investment directly from banks or insurers. Some have their own capital. Uh, some partner with insurers as a, to almost introduce risk management techniques to, that can mitigate risks in the future. I can think of examples where, for example, one insurer uh, invested in a startup that, that designed smart clothing for construction sites. So it would measure your health as you're working, which gave them better data to understand the health insurance of those, of those employees. So, it's, so it's, it's, it's managing the risk better. There are, there are dozens of examples like that. Where I struggle a little bit to see the impact of Instech is as a major disruptor. I think it's a major enabler of the industry. I'm talking commercial here. I could sort of see disruption in the retail space, but I, I think in the commercial space, these startups are offering risk management uh, techniques, robotics, AI, uh, data, data mining, um, uh, you know, many aspects. You know, it started a while ago with telematics, really. and All of these things are helping the product for the client. They're not disrupting in terms of, we're not, we're not losing insurance carriers because of it. We're not getting Facebook or someone becoming a big insurer. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah. how, are you going, how is the industry going to guarantee that over the years? Oh, look, there's no, there are no guarantees. Obviously, if, if, if some of these big data uh, holders, companies who hold massive databases want to get involved in insurance, insurance. absolutely fine, but they, they will be subject to the full range of regulation that existing insurers are subject to. It's, you know, you've got to go into it with your eyes open. You need capital, you need to comply, you need to treat your customer fairly, all of that applies to the insurance industry now, and this is more retail space you're talking. Okay, now still speaking about the retail space, yeah. Mr. Devkam, a lot of brokers especially, they're a little bit jittery when talking about technology because mm. they see in the, in the future, mm. maybe instead of 
retailer looking at brokers for or insurance agents, salespeople for their insurance needs. They would yeah. rather sit in the comfort it's, of their home and do their business. So going, going <coughs> down the future, um, what's the role of the broker in the insurance? I think um, uh, you're talking retail here primarily. Yes. I yes. thought you would. Um, so me as a customer, I'm a retail customer. I don't really need a broker. I can go online. I can probably find the products I want to choose from at a reasonable price. Um, if I have a claim, I can contact the insurer directly via a portal or directly on some claim top line. I don't need a broker for that. We're seeing in the UK the high street brokers are reducing in number. I think the role of the broker is more in the advocacy space, the design of new products or, or working on behalf of the industry somehow to improve the product generally. Um, and the, the more complicated the risk gets, so it could even be in the SME space, that's when the brokers can offer risk management expertise. They may not even need to place the business, but they can be, act as an inter, literally as an intermediary between the buyer and seller. I would also argue down the line that the brokers don't necessarily have to deal with the premium or the claims. That could all be done on the peer-to-peer -peer basis. So perhaps the role of the broker in the retail SME space is going to be more advisory and, and, and advocacy. I think in the commercial space, and the wholesale space, because of the complexity of those risks, no client can really easily go to the insurers they need. You know, they, I mean, many risks in London have 20 insurers on them, all taking a small share. I don't see that at the moment being something that disin dis disintermediates the broker. So the larger, more complex the risk, the more role brokers will play.